have to silence the cenotaph. Please, I'm barely holding it together. No one knows where or how the Ash Titans came to be, but all we do know is that they don't belong in our world. They are an apex creature that not only poses a threat to us, but also to the world of Bastion. They are not easy to kill, requiring a good platoon of sentinels or freelancers to take them down. Sometimes a skilled freelancer or four are enough to take one down, but sometimes this isn't always the case, and tragically just leads to more death. Although rare in sight, they seem pretty harmless when nothing is bothering them, but once under threat, they become volatile and violent to everyone and surroundings, causing mass destruction in their walking steps. Thanks to the Heart of Rage, they have become more problematic over time, with the numbers now doubling to what they used to be, and with the freelancers now in disarray, it's only adding to the ever-growing problems of the world. However, over time we have managed to study them, understand them, and know exactly what they are and how they came to be, and also why they're so angry at everything. Well, that last part can't be explained as they're always in a bad mood, but we can always look into the other two questions given. So firstly, how did they come to be? Now from my interpretation, and according to the Elementals Cortex, Titans are the result of Shaper Instruments and the violent energy of the animal creation both come together and producing this sentient being and many other beings within the world. So it kind of explains how they're created in a way. Now it doesn't explain where they came from, but perhaps they don't have an origin or home like many of us would expect. If the Anthro creation played a part in their creation like stated, then it would mean they are created from generally nothing, they are literally just particles that one day were given sentience to and then just appeared wherever they're placed. But that's just a simple theory of mine. We don't know the full details about them, but we can look into what we already know about them, and also theorise on their standard biology of them. For example, they are a large bipedal creature that seems to be composed of a rocky type substance from head to toe, with a glowing protruding chest area that can open when the creature is in danger, and decides to attack. Their skin seems to be hard enough to absorb both bullets, energy projectiles and rockets with minimum ease, and they look to be quite stocky in size. They don't have a mouth by the looks of it, so it's unknown as to whether they eat or not, but considering the nature I would say they are self-efficient and don't require food, and probably mimic some sort of photosynthesis or rely on the power of the anthem to sustain themselves. They do however sleep, as noted from the two instances within the game. First being the Arden Vassar scene within the crypt where we first faced the challenge given to us, the second being the Mafia's contract where sometimes you may get a chance where the Dominions somehow capture one and then it's up to you to then basically kill it before it wakes up. How they produce is an interesting area, according to Venomic Croc from the Titan Cortex, it stated that instead of reproducing like normal methods that you would see through mammals and humans, they instead grow an offshoot of the self which breaks away and walks off to do their own thing. Now firstly, this would mean the Titans have an asexual reproductive system, where they rely on no secondary partner to reproduce. Secondly, through researching a bit online, this method of reproduction is actually a real thing called fragmentation, where just like the Titan, a creature or fauna will produce a copy of itself through similar methods like mushrooms and corals that we know both so well of. When threatened, they have the ability to summon raw but volatile heat energy that's enough to overheat any javelin and stop all potential flight movement while also igniting you for extra burn damage. All the Ash Titan's ability vary from close, medium to long ranges, 
varying from heat seeking balls of energy, a wave based attack that covers both on the ground and mid air, and a charged up chest beam attack with constant DPS. As you can see, they are prepared for generally anything thrown at them. However, depending on their attack, when attacking they open up one of their three main weak points, being their hands, chest and back, making it very easy for a user with a sniper or generally any weapon or ability to pick off and inflict high damage when the area is made available. They also have a summoning ability only seen through them, where they can call forth a being called an elemental, a sort of sentient being capable of damaging and exploding on selected targets. They are most commonly seen when a shape of relic or cataclysm is most active, and come in different variations from acid, arc, fire or normal. When their health drops to critical levels, they go in a sort of frenzy state, where their abilities become more rampant and get equally more aggressive within the radius they're in. It sort of looks like they're losing control of their powers, but at the same time it's known that the titans have a short temper, so it's not that surprising. Now once the titan is defeated, they stumble into a kneeling position before violently exploding and taking anyone out, as a final screw you, and yes, in game it does damage you if you stand too close to them when they detonate. Now, in game when a titan dies, they drop the standard loot, however one thing they also drop that is titan's lore is a rare material called corium, a emerald colour material that is produced once a titan's heart hardens. Considered to be one of the most strongest metals in the world, this material was used to craft the Japanese adorns in the dark period of mankind, and are still used to the present day, with demand of the material increasing day by day. It's also noted that the scholars scavenge these materials from dead titans when the opportunity is made available to them, especially the luminary who use these materials to enhance itself further. At one point in the dark periods of mankind against the Urgoth, the Urgoth nearly drove the titan species to extinction for their rare material, for their weapons and machinery. We still don't know how they managed to achieve this so successfully to the point of extinction for another race, considering how powerful a single titan is. And how, when you look back at our Doom expedition against the Heart of Rage, one titan named the Javelin Breaker pretty much wiped out the vast majority of the group before being put down. And that was just one titan we faced. So if the Urgoth could defeat multiple titans with ease, then imagine what they're like once we face them. And that is really everything about the titans you would need to know. Of course, I would love to see what other variations exist in the world as currently the Ash Titans are the most common for the Freelancer to face. I would love to see other variants of Titans with different abilities as well, such as the common Acid or Electrical variants, or perhaps a new variant that uses the power of creation in its own style, similar to how the Monitor did. As they are the common Apex creature that the Anthem has thrown at us, I do believe we will see a much more powerful variant later on in the future. But for now, this is the initial breakdown of Titans. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and do share the content with other fellow Arcanists. Once again, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.